Well, hello, welcome to another edition of Vinny's Vlog. How are you all doing? Uh, a bit of a special one, this one. Uh, I know if you've been following my series, you know I was in France in August. Unfortunately, that one ended in tears, but we won't talk about that anymore. So yeah, I'm in, uh, I'm in Northern France this time. I'm in Normandy now. I'm guessing it was about 2002, the last time I fished this area of France. So it's a bit of a special one. Um, we're away doing some filming with the guys at PB Products. So yeah, I'm real excited to get going with it. We've, we've not been here long. Uh, I've had one fish, I've had only a small one, but I have had a bite, so that's good. Um, it's a glorious day, 14 degrees, but we are getting rain. We've been told a day and a half of rain is to come, so that, you know we're gonna get set up and enjoy it while we can because rain's coming, so. So yeah, it's uh, it's Lac La Chauzy. I don't know a lot about the lake, other than the fact it's stunning. I really like the place. Uh, loads of little bays, every swim gets loads of water, so yeah. Um, there's some uh, 40 pounders in here as well, I'm told, so that's uh, that's always nice to know, isn't it? So we'll get everything, we're set up, but we've only been here a few hours to be fair, so I'm gonna get everything tidied up, prepare for the rain, and uh, hopefully by Monday we're gonna get some nice weather. And you know, we're late October, so you know, 16 degrees by Wednesday, and that's really good temperatures for the, because I've fished France this, this time of year quite a few times, and that's decent temperatures, so fingers crossed, we get it right. <laughs> we might be able to catch a few fish. So the, the group that was on here last week left on the Thursday, so the fish have had a few days without any angling pressure. And you know, when we got here, they were showing in open water and fizzing up and doing the thing, but you know, we did we weren't here long and suddenly they, just, they, they pushed into the far margin, which is natural, it, it happens on, the, on these type of lakes. So you know, that's the areas that we're targeting. At the moment, there's only, that I've got I've got Ting Tong next door to me and Ian's had, uh, I think Ian's had three or four fish and, and I've had four fish. So it looks like the fish are pretty central at the moment, but it's only Monday, things can change, you know, you just have to keep watching and see what's going on. So what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll let you have a look at where I'm fishing, I'll show you what spots I've got, and uh, we'll see if we can, hopefully, um, now it stopped rain, I don't think that rain was very good for us to be honest, because it was quite a cold rain, so hopefully if this, this sun stays on the water, I might just have a little bit of a temperature increase. Now I reckon we could be, uh, I reckon we could be in for some daytime bites possibly, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see how the week pans out. Okay folks, so this is my swim. Uh, to, to my left there's a little bay there, now uh, I get half of that, but at the moment I've not, I'm not putting a rod in there. For, for, for the moment, it, obviously if I start seeing fish in there that might change, but my left hand rod is just in this gap here. Like I mentioned to you before, I'm trying to get as tight as I can to the bank and just that little area where there's no overhanging trees, uh, I can get really tight in there. I'm literally uh, one foot off the bank, <laughs> you know, as tight as I possibly can get. Uh, that, and that left hand rod's done me three of my bites. Now if we pan round, there's another spot just where that tree goes darker there's another spot in there where i can just I, i'm not as tight as the left hand rod but i'm certainly right on it uh, and that rod's done me one fish so those two rods are doing me bite so what i'm doing at the moment is working so i don't intend to change that one thing i am doing is you know i mentioned before i think this lake does get a lot of bait boat style fishing so rather than get a tight area of bait I, I'm, I'm kind of trying to do the opposite. I'm actually throwing stick at the, at the same range, but all the way down, rather than putting a load of bait around my hook bait, I'm just allowing the fish to pick up as they're moving through. I don't think it's a particularly, you know, a holding spot type of swim, but they're certainly using it as, as, as a channel to get through into the main area. So. It's, it's opportunist pickup style fishing, but I want them picking up all the way along there. I don't just want a big pile of bait because I'm sure they see that quite a lot.
lovely £40.14 mirror. This is fishing tight to that margin, I mean as tight as I can physically cast. And uh, yeah, the owner said, you know, get as tight as you can. I, th I think it gets a lot of bait boats does this water, so I've gone as tight as I dare. And it's gone off first light. It, it was raining all night, so I'm glad it stopped for the photos. So, what a fantastic start to the holiday. Monday morning and we've had a 40. I walked round to the back of the back of my swim, basically the, the tree line that I'm fishing to, uh, and I'm going to drop some bait on the spots. Just want to keep it nice and quiet. Want to crumb up some really small bits. I don't want to be spotting across because I'm just going to end up spooking everything that's in here. So the other thing I'm going to do as well, <coughs> uh, we've, we've got a new liquid on test at the moment with DNA. So I'm going to uh, pop a couple of PVA bags together and just drop that over the over certainly my two tight rods and just just see if we can get a response off that. So this is the casting liquid and uh, I'm on, I only need to be about a metre into the lake so all I'm going to do is just drop it into a PVA bag and just tip the end off with just a little bit of licking stick and just drop it on top of where I'm going to be fishing and we'll see if this, this can get me a bite tonight. did have a quiet day like I, like I thought I would but yeah this afternoon random bite I had a smaller fish and uh, we've just come back from tea pop the rods out on the spot they haven't been out half an hour and I've had this absolute stunt not one of the big fish out of this lake but it makes up for it in looks look at that it's not too many of these in France what a stunning low 20 and it's the start of the evening so I'm uh, looking forward to what the rest of the evening is going to bring me Go on mate, you'll get yourself back. Come on, come on, come on. What? What? Yes, hello. Yeah. Good girl. Ah, good morning. Yeah, weird one. The fish were absolutely pushing all over last night. None of us had a bite. Work that one out. Not sure why. I had, I had that bite just into darkness, which you saw. That lovely scaly one. And uh, the fish were by a mile the most active we've had all week. They were just, I had something in front of me, the back of Tongs Bay that was going ballistic and up at James's side along that channel running into swim one. That was all active and crashing. And we've just seen a couple this morning. I've just been to speak to Ian and uh, I've had a coffee with him, we've watched two Bosch in there, but nobody's had a bite. Bizarre. It is what it is. So yeah, we're just gonna have our breakfast and the guys are gonna get filming. Uh, I'm not filming personally today, so I'm gonna have, I'm gonna, I, th I think I got done last night. I might be wrong, but I think I got done last night. So I'm having a little bit of a rethink as to what I'm doing. So, 
So, actually, speaking of, uh, that, that was good, that was good timing. <laughs> hey, thank you very much, Mike. Ah, now that's good cart fishing. Sausage, bacon, and egg delivered to your swim. Right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna sign off. Eat this. And uh, like I said, I'm going to have a little bit of a thing. I, I might be fishing two smaller hooks. I think there was a couple of, there were liners possibly, but did I get done last night? I'm not 100%. I'm having a little bit of a think about what I'm doing. But uh, anyway, we're not at work and that's the main thing. Now I am a sweet connoisseur. Now these things look cheap and cheerful. Midget jam. Finny says, I've got you some midget jams, 30p a bag. He brought some nuts into the lodge that really they weren't branded. They're a bit shite if I'm honest. So I Sorry. thought so I thought these would be shite. They are without doubt the best midget jams I've ever had. 30 pence a bag, because he's northern. The consistency, <laughs> the taste, <laughs> everything about them is unbelievable. And we've had about five bags in two days. Correct. He's just dropped them on the back of my chair, probably five minutes ago. Somebody's been in and pinched them all. They've left the vans in the passport. Who had them all, Nick? Tong. Tong at the lot. Five I packs. haven't had any, Vinny. None of us have I've, even I seen I haven't even got a look one. in with these midget gems. I, I don't know what the rave is. No. I believe you, James. I know, mate. I, I'm a look like I'm wasted away, don't I? Finally one of them liners turns into a run. Extremely happy, what a stunning uh, low 20 common carp. Right, welcome to the morning of day four. Um, yeah, I got off to a great start, but it's been tough. It's been, you know, we're just picking odd fish off. It's, uh, we're getting like, I wouldn't say it's cold on a night, but it's certainly dropping to like seven, eight degrees, something like that. And it's certainly having an impact on the fishes. This is the first time the weather's kind of dropped into them, you know, to that zone this summer, or as we're into autumn now, of course. So yeah, it is tough. We're picking the odd fish up though. I think it did three fish last night. I blanked last night, it's my first blank night. So I've had six fish so far. So yeah, I'm happy with that. I've, I've had one of the big ones, of course, which you saw earlier. And uh, let's hope there's chance for another one. Um, the weather today, a bit of rainy, on and off rate. We've, we've actually had breakfast in the lodge this morning. Normally we just have a, a breakfast, but you know, like a, a bun brought to our swim, but we've wound in and uh, gone and had sat and had a breakfast together. So I ain't really been watching the water much this morning, but um, as you saw, I've just got my rods back out. I'm fishing all, all three of my rods tight to the opposite, you know, tree line. So that's where I, if I'm seeing any, I'm not seeing a lot. My swim's more of a passing swim than a holding area. So what I am seeing is tight. So naturally that's where I've put my rod. So we're getting a much better afternoon weather. Where they reckon like at tea time, it's going to be touching 17 degrees today. So this cloud's obviously going to push through and uh, we'll see. I mean, it's just, the, the, the bites are random. There's no real pattern to it. I'm getting, I, I, like yesterday afternoon, I just had a random bite when nothing was happening. Didn't see anything, no fizzing. It just one of them went off. So. It, it, it's one of them not really f figuring it out as such but I don't think it, it is a situation there's a lot to figure out you know it's just random bites and it's just a question of sitting on your hands and waiting for them to come through so 
I'll uh, get a kettle on, have another coffee and uh, we'll see what the afternoon brings us. Right, well that common that you've seen me catch this morning was the only action that we've seen. Ah, oh, no, actually, funnily enough, sorry, Gary's had a 29 out the corner, I'd almost forgotten. Yeah, Gary had one today, so so two fish out today, yeah. It, 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 it's been a bit of a struggle if I'm honest, but like I said before, that is carp fishing. You don't come and empty these places every time you come to them. You know, we've had our chances and uh, yeah, I think we I think we fished it the, the correct way, they've just... The, the fish of, I don't know whether it's the weather or the, for whatever reason, sometimes you just never know, you know, Mike expected us to catch more than what we have done, but it's carp fishing, sometimes it doesn't go your way, so, oh, conk, acorns are falling off the tree. Yeah, it's a bit like being in, uh, we're, we were in Normandy, it's like bloody Normandy landings with these acorns come flying at you. Anyway, so, yeah, um, it's been a brill week. We've, the, the main thing was to do the filming with PB, but, you know, we've, we've been doing our fishing as well, of course, and we've got everything done, and we've had a right good laugh doing it, you know. Caught that 40, 41 pounder earlier in the week, and, you know, that, that that's just fab, fabulous. But, you know, for me, the, the, the main thing for me about this, this week, and this, you know, what we've done this week is, is seeing, you know, how positive Ian is and seeing him back, back fishing, you know, back in the saddle like the DNA film that went out yesterday. Um, yeah, he's, he's mega positive and he's, uh, he's putting a right good face on things and, uh, you know, catching fish, doing what he does best, I guess. So that's been, you know, the highlight of it for me. So uh, unless I catch anything tonight, it, it's home time tomorrow. So unless I catch anything tonight, I'm going to sign off. Thanks a lot for watching the vlog. Um, also, you know, the positive comments that you give me on this series and, you know, keep them coming. I really like them and I'm glad you're getting something from what I'm doing. Take care and I'll see you on my next vlog. Listen to the Pesh Mark. What say you, Captain? Correct. Hashtag <laughs> get. Hello, boss, where? Hello Vincent. <laughs> Hiya Ting Tong, you good? I'm come soliciting. Go on then. Well he's seen me bottom, hasn't he? He wants a bit to go on the peach. Put in an S7 half tone on. Do you know what that means? <laughs> Tonight James I'm going to empty the lake. Correct. Correct. Nothing. I'm all good in my world. <laughs>